commissioner's position would be available to be appointed by someone who does not reside in our town. I think that's important for us to understand. Secondly, unfortunately, many of the people here may not know why Curtis chose to resign. And since, traditionally, for almost 200 years, it has been part of the process of balance. The concept of a civil society, as we usually traditionally see it, is a process of checks and balances. And one of the reasons why the citizenry many times enjoy the opportunity to elect people is because it gives them the opportunity to check behavior which they may not actually enjoy happening. And so as we elect people to be road commissioner, I think we as citizens here have a duty to know why our road commissioner chose to resign. Since Curtis has sporadically been serving as our road commissioner since what, the early 90s, I think? Sometime when Doc Gould did it forever. Yeah, so, and I mean, obviously David and Alan kept up the work well whenever we needed them to, so we appreciate it. I mean, your, your two families have served this town for generations. And I think we deserve to know why uh, you choose to resign in the face of a serious deviation from our traditional behavior. So I would ask that the town uh, take the time to hear from Curtis. It may be elucidating to many of us.